Good morning. My name is Abigail Josu, and I will be giving a presentation on multiple splice alignment for reconstructing the evolution of alternative transcripts. This work has been done in collaboration with Safa Jamali and Aida Wangawa at the University of Sherbrooke, precisely at Cobius Lab. It is now well known that alternative splicing is the universal process in eukaryotic organisms and that it allows multiple distinct splice transcripts to be produced from the same gene. On this image, three transcripts have been produced from the same gene. The first transcript is composed of the exons 1, 3, 4, and 6, for example. Introns are represented with dashed line. With that being said, let's now see why it is important to compare the sets of all transcripts. I will take the example of existing methods for reconstructing gene tree. Existing gene tree reconstruction methods make use of a single reference CDS per genes to reconstruct gene family evolution and to infer gene ontology relationships. So, usually, they select the longest CDS to compute the multiple sequence alignment, but by doing so, the other transcripts of the genes are not taken into account, and this could lead to transcripts which are not exactly comparable. And that means that the exon of the transcript will not be homologous and we could then get wrong gene trees. On this image, if all transcripts have been compared, we would have found that gene 1 CDS1, gene 2 CDS1, and gene 3 CDS3 are the most comparable transcript, so we would have selected them to get a correct gene tree. Therefore, this shows how important it is to compare the set of all transcripts. So to do that, to compare the sets of all um, transcripts, we have developed a tool named Splice Farm Align Multi, which performs the comparison of all the transcripts together. It is an extension of the pairwise splice alignment so it does a multiple splice alignment, which is an alignment of a set of spliced CDS sequences on a set of unspliced genomic sequences. So we can get a multiple splice alignment by assembling all pairwise splice alignment in a gene family. What is a pairwise splice alignment? A pairwise splice alignment consists in the alignment of a spliced CDS with an unspliced genomic sequence in order to highlight homologous exons between the aligned sequences. So a tool named Splice Farm Align has been previously developed by my colleague Safa Jamali to perform pairwise splice alignment. Our goal is then to take as input the sets of all pairwise splice alignment between CDS and genes, which is actually the output of splice farm align, and to merge them into a multiple spliced alignment. In our tool, we develop two strategies, a consistency-based approach and a multi-block multi ready approach. We named the first approach SFAM TCOFI because it relies on the use of the TCOFI alignment package. SFAM TCOFI provides two ways of generating the primary library of residual pairs, which are SFAM TCOFI P. P, is for, uh, P stands for pairwise because it uses the pairs of genes and CDS, and SFAM TCOFI M, M stands for multiple because it uses the multiple alignments of genes. So our focus will, will mainly be on SFAM M block, which is the algorithm that we have developed. 
So the method consists in first pre-computing a set of candidate multi-blocks by assembling aligned pairwise blocks that share identical segments. And after that, sorting the candidate multi-blocks by their size and finally to include multi-blocks one by one into a growing consistent set of multi-blocks. The first step of our approach is to compute the alignment graph. The alignment graph represents a set of pairwise plus alignment. The positions of CDS and genes are represented as as vertices with an edge between them. We have two types of edge. The edge can represent um, a conserved block. We call it block edge and it is in solid line or it can represent an alignment of a CDS with their corresponding genes and we call it CDS edges and it is in dashed line. So after computing the alignment graph, we weight the edges of the graph by using two scores that serve as confidence scores for the segment alignment. So those scores are, those scores are the PID of E, E for edges, and the, the connect of E. So the PID of E is the percent sequence identity of the pairwise alignment represented by the E by the edge and connect E evaluates the strength for the connectivity between the two vertices connected by the edge. The third step of our method is to slip the connected components of the graph. This step is important because a multi-block must contain at most one segment of each sequence. So a connected component containing two non-overlapping segments of the same sequence cannot represent a multi-block. And as a result of this step, we will get a new graph here. So at this final step, the connected components of the new graph obtained previously will be considered as candidates multi-blocks and we will compute the multiple splice alignment by progressively adding consistent multi-blocks. At the end of all those four steps, we will get a multiple spliced alignment. So now we will see how our method compared, compares with other methods. These figures show the performance for CDS ontology group inference. Six methods have been compared, which are SPLICEFAM Align, SFA, SPLICEFAM Align Multi, namely SFAM Ticoffee P, SFAM Ticoffee M, SFAM M Block, CLUS, and AutoFinder. Um, we can see that the run index of SFA and SFA M block are the highest for all data sets compared to other methods. They are even close to one. The run index of SFAM Ticoffee P, SFAM Ticoffee M, and AutoFinder decrease when the level of sequence similarity decreases. We can see that here while the run index of CLUS increases with uh, when sequence similarity decreases. So for the computing time, CLUS has the lowest computing time while all other methods are comparable. Here, we have the performance for multiple sequence alignment by using 11 methods, which are SPLICEFAM Align SFA, SPLICEFAM Align Multi, SFAM T Coffee P, SFAM T Coffee M, SFAM M Block, Muscle, MAFT, Maxi, Cluster O, Prank, T Coffee, and Mirage. So for the precision, we see that all methods except 
cluster O show high and comparable precision rates. In terms of recall, SFM and block, muscle, MAFG, maxi, prank, and mirage achieve the highest performances for all data sets. And maxi, maxi and prank have the highest computing time. So those results show that Splatform Align Multi, especially SFM M block, the, uh, which is the method we have, de we have developed, this method is able to perform similarly or better than state-of-art methods for multiple sequence alignment and autology group inference, including alternative transcripts. So I would like to conclude to conclude this presentation by acknowledging the support of my colleagues from Cobius Lab and also the entities and organizations that are funding us and supporting our work. Thank you.